Hey guys, before we get going for today's video, I just want to let you know I am in the process of putting together a free options masterclass on YouTube. I'm going to start a brand new video series teaching how to do options trading from the very beginning. I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to somebody that knows absolutely nothing about options trading. We'll work our way up with the beginner level introductory videos. And then we'll end with some of the more advanced strategies and concepts. We'll talk about the Greeks. We'll talk about calls and puts and theta gang. We'll talk about buying options, selling options, and all of the different strategies that you can do with options trading. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you get notified when those videos come out. I'm going to put a lot of effort into these videos. So they may come out once every week or two weeks or three weeks, depending on how quickly I can get them made but they're not going to come out daily like these daily videos. So make sure you are locked in to the subscribe button and that notification bell. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily update video. It is Wednesday. It is the middle of the trading week. Two more days left before the end. And hopefully we'll end on a green note. You know, you guys are animals. You are frothing at the mouth for more Palantir content. So I'm going to give it to you. Let's talk about Palantir in this video. And then stay tuned because you're going to get a two for one special tonight. I'm going to put out another video tonight on Virgin Galactic because there were some different moves today on space. So I'm curious to see what my audience thinks is going to happen with space and what some possible plays are. But today and in this video right now, let's talk about Palantir. Before we do that, let's take a look at the heat map here. You can see kind of a red day, right? A little bit flat, but more so on the red side than on the green side. Microsoft and Amazon had decent days, but Apple, Facebook, Google were all flat. Semis were a mixed bag. AMD was down 0.3%. Nvidia down almost a percent. The Honey Badger pretty much flat. Qualcomm up almost 1%. But let's get right into this video and let's talk about Palantir. So taking a look at the daily chart on Robinhood, you can see not a great day. Already pre-market, we were already down over 2%, sold off within the first five minutes of market, opened all the way down to over 4%. Did a little bit of a rally and sold off. Our daily low was almost down 5% on Palantir. You know, this does go in line with some of my price predictions and technical analysis that I made on some of my earlier Palantir videos. Stick around to the end. We will do some updated TA to see if today's candle changes anything about my stock forecast for Palantir. And take a look at this. We did rally pretty hard up until lunchtime to being down only 1.4% sold that off a little bit and then we just kind of melted up slowly all day long and we're still melting up slowly after hours but like i said overall on the day we did end up down let's take a look at the one week graph kind of just been taking the staircase down right it's very choppy but overall the trend is down and that's going to play in to some of my updated technical analysis and it's really not an update it's just a continuation of some of my price predictions that have been going on for a while before we do that, let's take a look at an article that just came out on Palantir. It has some really good data and statistics and also some analyst ratings. So let's take a look at that right now. So here's an article on Yahoo Finance that we just put out today, this morning, and they're actually comparing Palantir with another company called Verint. And the title of the article is, Which SaaS Stock is a Better Pick? And if you're not familiar with the term SaaS, S-A-A-S stands for software as a service so think of these as like subscription-based service tech stocks if you want to think about it that way but palantir is not really subscription based per se but they're offering their services via software so here's the interesting thing about palantir so they say they provide data analytics software and services to public and private organizations with complex and sensitive data environments and actually more than half of their money comes from government contracts and recently, in the quarter three of this year, they have a $91 million contract from the U.S. Army, a $36 million contract from the National Institute of Health, the NIH. And then recently, they got a $44.4 million contract with the United States FDA. And take a look at this. Since the beginning of November, Palantir has been up 161%. Their third quarter revenue growth is up 52% to almost $300 million year over year. And the other thing is they are going to see more prospects. They're bullish 
in terms of more government and commercial contracts. And they're expecting or they're hoping for a over 30% revenue growth in 2021. That's the good news. But here's the bad news. So it says earlier this month, an analyst from Morgan Stanley actually downgraded Palantir to a sell rating from a hold rating and their price target they set at $17. The previous target was actually $15, so they actually upped the price target. But compared to where Palantir is trading right now, they are clearly bearish on the stock because their price target, in addition to their sell rating, is considerably lower from where the stock is right now. Now, the other thing is, well, that's just one analyst rating, right? So if we scroll down, you can see out of six analysts, four have hold ratings, one actually has a buy rating, and the one Morgan Stanley analyst has that sell rating. Overall, the average price target for Palantir is actually $13.83. So that's pretty far away. We'll do some quick calculation to see where that price target compares to where we close to today. But let's take a look at TradingView and do some technical analysis, and then we'll do some quick math to see how far off this average price target we are. And as you can see by this graph, the highest price target is actually $18 in the coming 12 months, and the lowest price target is $10. So the range is from $10 to $18 with an average of $13.83. Let's take a look at TradingView. So here's the TradingView chart on Palantir. I'm gonna just zoom out here so it fills the screen. You can see this orange line is the 21 day moving average. The pink line is the 50 day moving average. If you're new to the channel, I keep it very simple. I use RSI, the 21 and the 50 day moving averages, and I have areas of support and resistance and also Fibonacci retracements. If you saw some of my earlier videos on Palantir, you know back on December 9th or so, I predicted that we are gonna have a little bit of a sell off on Palantir. I thought we were gonna get down to about the $24 price level because that was the 38.2% Fibonacci level, this area of support that I identified, and I knew that the 21 day moving average was gonna to get to about that point. Looks like we are slowly getting that sell off. It's happening a little bit slower than I thought it would, but I do think it's happening. You can see the intraday low today at about $25 got awfully close to the 21 day moving average. We did end the day red, like I said, down about 2%. We closed the day and currently, including after hours trading, we are trading at $26.10. So just to do some quick math, the average price target was $13.83. So that is roughly half of where the stock is currently trading. That means that the average analyst price target means that they think this stock is basically trading at two times what they think it should be worth. So I've been saying all along, I think this stock has been overly hyped. It's been overly memed. Not only that, Wall Street Bets has been talking about this stock nonstop on Reddit. But now CNBC and Jim Cramer are talking about Reddit, talking about Palantir. This meme has gone viral. I mean, it's absolutely nuts. And I don't think Palantir can keep up this momentum. At some point, it does have to sell off. I mean, that valuation of about $14, not only is it lower than the 21 day moving average, but it's also lower than the 50 day moving average. So I don't know if or how quickly we will get there, but as you can see by the RSI curve, Palantir has been more towards the overbought side since basically the entire month of November and so far in basically half of December as well. I think in the coming days, I wouldn't be surprised if by Friday, we at least touch the mid $24 range, at least touch the 21 day moving average. And I think what we'll do is we'll probably bounce off the 21 day moving average. I think we'll probably get down to about 24.50, then probably rally to about $27, $28 again. That's where my area of trend that I identified is and also where the 23.6% Fibonacci level is. So that's my price prediction. That's my forecast for Palantir. Now, the thing that I would be worried about is if we break through the 21 day moving average, because if we break through that, the next area of support is probably gonna be about $21. And that's gonna take us all the way down to here. So for example, this is not financial advice. But if I had shares of this stock, or if I was trying to swing trade it, I would probably try and set a stop loss somewhere at $22, for example. That way, I know that if this area of support breaks at 24, I can potentially cut my losses before it gets all the way down to the next area of support. Granted, these are just my opinions. 
nothing about technical analysis is 100% accurate. If you look at some other people's charting, they may have completely different support and resistance levels. They may not use Fibonacci levels. They may use some other TA. So this is just purely my opinion, purely speculation, and honestly, just guesswork on my part. Anybody that thinks that they know exactly how a stock is going to trade, run for the hills because they have no idea what they're talking about. But that's really all I have to say about Palantir. If you have options on Palantir and you've gotten your money out of it, it may be time to cash out and look for another stock because at some point this music is going to stop and you want to make sure you have a chair left to sit in once that music stops. You don't want to be the one that gets kicked out of the game. As always, drop me a comment below if you agree or disagree. Make sure you join our Discord server if you're not in there already. We have about four or five slots left. Last time I checked, add me on Twitter, add me on Instagram, follow me on Reddit. But most importantly, I hope you have a green day and happy trading.